perform a manual calibration of the Gold Basic, we will need the instrument itself, the regulator with cal adapter, and the calibration gas. This is a four gas instrument, so in this case we will need a combination bottle with 50% LEL methane and 100 parts per million carbon monoxide, and a bottle of 25 parts per million hydrogen sulfide. To begin, power on the instrument by pressing and holding the A button until the display illuminates. The model type and version number will be displayed, followed by, followed by a system check. The date and time will be displayed, the gas type, the serial number, and finally a short warm-up before the instrument zeroes and advances to the working display. Before calibration, we must verify that the date and time is correct and perform a flow check. To verify the date and time, press and hold the B button to enter into the user menu. Scroll through the menu by pressing and releasing the C button until set clock appears. Enter into this menu by pressing and releasing the B button and the date and time will be displayed. To adjust a field, press and release the B button. To advance to the next field, press and release the C button. When the date and time is correct, press and release the A button to save, and again to exit back to the working display. To test for flow block, Place the finger over the inlet at the end of the gooseneck until a flow blocked message appears. Allow the unit to warm up for an additional five minutes and then calibration can begin. Prior to calibration, auto zero the instrument by pressing and holding the C button. Enter into the user menu by pressing and holding the B button, and scrolling by pressing and releasing the C button until calibration appears. Enter into this menu by pressing and releasing the B button, and a list of possible calibration points will be displayed. We are going to be calibrating 100 parts per million CO, 50% LEL methane, and 25 parts per million H2S. Begin by attaching and turning on the regulator on the combo gas. Attach the cal adapter to the end of the gooseneck and press and release the B button to select 100 parts per million CO. After a stable reading is achieved, data saved will be displayed on the instrument screen and we will be presented with the calibration menu. Leave the combo gas attached to the instrument and scroll to 50% LEL natural. Press and release the B button to select and the calibration will begin. We can now remove the combination gas from the instrument, attach our regulator to the H2S bottle, turn on the regulator, and attach the cal adapter to the end of the gooseneck, and scroll to 25 parts per million H2S. Select by pressing and releasing the B button. The number at the bottom of the screen is the output of the sensor and is useful for referencing when troubleshooting if any issues should occur.
Calibration of H2S is complete, and the calibration process is concluded. We can exit back to the user menu and to the working display by pressing and releasing the A button. To verify the calibration date, enter under the user menu by pressing and holding the B button. And scroll through the menu by pressing and releasing the C button until View Catalog appears. Select by pressing and releasing the B button. And on the display we will have the sensor and the most recent calibration date for that sensor. We can scroll through with the C button and we will see CO, H2S, and LEL for this case. Pressing and releasing again, we're returning back to the user menu, and we can return back to the working display by pressing and releasing the A button.